think it, I think it was like a podcast or, uh, I, I mean, I know it was a live stream. It was very awkward at first. I kept presenting very awkward facial expressions because I'm not used to being, um, with other people talking about something. Like, I'm, I'm not very good at that. Like, I'm good at one-on-ones. Um, yeah, I'm good at I'm good at one on ones, but when it comes to like talking in a group, like I really suck at that shit because I I feel like I'm like interrupting people or like one of the problems that I have with it is just you know people like talking over each other and. like not knowing when it's appropriate to start talking or stop talking. I think that I've gotten better at it though. At least when I interject it's usually funny. But you know, I used to not be this way. I used to like have a major problem with like sort of bulldozing the conversation making it all about what I want to talk about. And the older that I got, the more I realized how aggravating that is and how that's not fair to the other people. Now I know that I'm interesting and I say cool shit and I have good insight, but um, I don't like how other people do that. Like I noticed that. Like, I have multiple friends of mine. Some of them at church. Um, some I work with. A lot of comedians. It, it's like... Anytime that they're talking about something, it, it's like they just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And say I have anything to contribute to the conversation they immediately redirect it to, let's keep talking about me. And <laughs> it's, it's really, really annoying. But I think the major reason that I do this channel is because, yeah, there is a lot of stuff that I want to say that I don't. And I am pretty quiet. But I, I used to like sort of bombard my, my friends with a lot of my like self-analysis, like what you see on this channel, um, I used to just torture them. And I mean, I guess they put up with it because they, they found it somewhat insightful because I'm a very self-aware person that, you know, is, is very like inquisitive. So I think that they at least got something out of it. Otherwise they wouldn't have contained me, my friend, because I was just so annoying. But I also see it as like a very feminine trait. And what's so funny about women that complain about mansplaining, it's literally the other way around. So maybe it used to be that way, but I find it really funny how women living in Western civilization whine all the time about oppression and shit like that when they have no idea. They have no idea. They get to keep their clitoris.